Are you looking for the best AIR generator out there? Do you also want it to be super easy and 100% free? Well, look no further than Focus, which is built upon Stable Diffusion. Stable Diffusion is the number one AIR generator, with Midjourney as its only real competitor. However, Stable Diffusion is not only free, it also provides much more control when you learn it. Today we'll look at how to get you started with Stable Diffusion and Focus. I'll uh, see you in a couple of minutes for a dad joke. All the links are gonna be in the description below. First, you're gonna to go to this GitHub page here, and then you're gonna click this the link. Click here to download. That will download a seven zip file for you. Once that's downloaded, it's a pretty big file, 1.6 gigabyte as of right now. You can unpack this wherever you want it. I'm using seven zip, but you can also use WinRAR. So I'm just extracting to the same folder that I downloaded it in. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you. Now, as soon as this is finished, it's gonna be a one click install. So that's gonna be super easy. Just bear in mind that it's using SDXL. And if you have those molds already, you can copy them into the folder. And if you don't have them, they will be automatically downloaded. So that's about 10 gigabytes. So just so you're aware of that. Once finished, you go into the folder. And if you don't have any models, you can just press the little run here. But if you do have the SDXL models already, you can put them inside models checkpoints here. And it also says so on the GitHub page. It says here, in the first time you launch the software, it will automatically download models. So it's using the SDXL base 1.0 with the 0.9 VAE. You can also go here and manually download them from Hugging Face if you want to. Easiest, however, is just go back into the root folder and press run. And that will start the download of the models. And once this is finished, you will be able to run SDXL. And it's not just a quick and easy install. It's also a very easy to use interface and you can get great images straight out of the box without doing any advanced prompting. And uh, I'll show you in a sec as soon as this is finished. Oh, and by the way, I had to give up my career as a photographer. I just kept losing focus. After a while, you're going to see this. And this is Focus UI. And well, as you can see, it's pretty simple. Now there's a little advanced button here, but let's get to that in a second. First, we're just going to type in here, cat in a hat. And uh, this is the first take. So... Uh, Let's see if I need to edit this or if we can use this. I think it's going to be fine. So we are seeing here live now a cat in a hat coming in and I'm using an RTX 3080. Uh, you need to be on Windows to use this right now and to have an NVIDIA GPU. You can also use Linux. It is recommended to have at least four gigabytes of VRAM. However, it's uh, quite light on the VRAM usage and it's fairly fast. It's not lightning fast, but it's not as slow as some of the other SDXL interfaces out there. So I would say that these two results are fantastic. Now it has the classic bokeh that all the SDXL images has, but I mean, these images are great. It sure does cats well. Now, in regard to the little advanced button here, now, the reason that we are getting great looking images just by typing cat and hat, it's not as simple as that. However, you actually don't need to know about it. You can just, you know, stick with this, go ahead, get great looking images. But if you want to know a little bit more, check out this advanced gear. And first of all, you can set the performance here, speed, quality. You can change the, the size of the image, how many images you want, and the seed and negative prompt, etc. But the magic comes here in the little style tab because the styles are actually prompts that are being used under the hood. So the default here is a cinematic default. So our prompt cat in a hat is then at getting some extra styles here or extra prompt from cinematic default. You could change this to something else. Let's try game Pokemon here. And uh, let's generate again a cat in a hat. Now we're not using the same seed. 
So it's not a apples to apples comparison in the perfect world, but I don't think that's necessary. We are now getting a cat in a hat in uh, a Pokemon kind of style in SDXL. And it's fairly easy to see just from the live render here. Now the final image is going to be a little better, but you'll see that in a second. I, what I like about styles in general, and I mean, the reason why me and, and you know, the people of my Discord put together my styles that I, I use is it's, it's a great way to just find inspiration. Sometimes you don't know what you want to prompt for and what you want to type in. So you can just, you know, browse what's available. So we have our results here, little cats in a hat. And I think that's uh, very cool, to be honest. So you can check these out and just see how easy it was to get up and running. In the last tab here, advanced, we can change the model. It's currently just set up for SDXL, so it's the 1.0. And we can also load Loras here. But that's about it. And I think for a lot of users, that's actually all you need. So if you're looking for a super easy way to get started with Stable Diffusion, which is if you're not aware of that, it's 100% free. It's just running locally on your computer. Other tools, mid-journey, whatever, you know, costs a couple of bucks. Stable Fusion, fully free. Whenever you delve deeper and go towards other UIs, like, like Automatic 1111, Comfy UI, Invoke, you will actually get to see the power of Stable Fusion and how it's, well, in my opinion, much better than mid-journey because you have all this control. So get started with Stable Fusion Easy. And if you enjoyed this content, feel free to subscribe and uh, like and put a comment down below so the YouTube algo will pick that up and you'll see more of my content. As always, have a good one. See ya!